everybody welcome back today's project is going to be a card and to start off with i'm going to be working on a piece of this mixed media card stock i've got it to size ready and i'm just going to put some ink on i've got three colors of ink i'm using my distress oxides i've got squeezed lemonade shaded lilac and picked raspberry so to start off with i'm going to use my picked raspberry and i'm just going to put some ink onto this piece of card so I'm just going to ink up my, I'm going to start in the corner and I'm going to go quite heavy handed with it. Okay, and then I'm going to come in with my squeezed lemonade. And those two inks they blend nicely together finally i'm going to use my shaded lilac and so i'm just putting the shaded lilac down i'm just going to go around the edges a little bit with my shaded lilac next i'm just going to use my spritzer and i'm just going to spritz over Quite generously so as you can see I've spritzed over there I'm just going to use a piece of this kitchen towel and I'm just going to dab okay next I'm going to do a little bit of stamping first of all I'm going to stamp this little flower here and it's from this stamp set here I've used quite a few different stamp sets today with this card yeah and I'm using that flower at the bottom there so I'm just going to stamp it onto a piece of mixed media card. I'm going to use my black archival ink and I'm going to use my distress inks to colour it with, to paint it with. I'm just going to stamp that in the middle there and put a little bit of each of my colours onto my mat. Okay, so as you can see I've dabbed a little bit of each of my inks. And I'm just going to paint my petals on my flowers using those inks. to dry off my flower okay so I'm just going to fussy cut around this flower there's my little flower fussy cut as well next I'm going to do some stamping I'm going to use I'm going to use this one here this one and I'm going to use my Versafine to do this with I'm just going to ink all around the edges and I'm going to close my dot and have a look and I'm just going to go over that again and again I'm just going to shut my dot okay Next, I'm going to use this one here, this little wreath, and I'm going to do that just in the middle, and I'm going to stamp again just round the edge of this wreath. Okay. 
and I'm just going to go over that again press firmly okay so next I'm going to stamp my center to use two I'm going to use just to say and then I'm going to put hello at the bottom just at the top there and then I'm going to put the hello at the bottom so I'm just going to pick them up And I'm going to stamp them with my first effect. So I'm just going to put some clear embossing powder over there. I'm just using this paper mania clear one. It's just the one I've got at hand at the moment. So I'm just going to put some over there and over my hello. I'm going to do a little bit more stamping and I'm going to use this stamp set here it's a little tiny little flourish I'm just going to stamp the corners ink again I'm just going to press nicely just to put this little pattern onto the corner of my card and again And then finally, okay, so I've done that stamping and I'm going to use my put my flower on and I'm going to use some sticky foam pads to put it on with. And I'll just put some pads on the back of there. And get the back enough and then I'm going to stick my flower just in the middle there next I'm going to put a little bit of this white acrylic paint just on my glass mat there just a tiny little bit and I'm going to use my spritzer and I'm just going to spritz just that spritz that paint and I'm going to use my fan brush and put some of these white splats onto my page being quite generous okay I'm just going to pop on my heat gun to dry that off with okay so I'm going to pop my card together I've got a small A6 card and a piece of purple card stock and I'm just going to map this purple piece just onto my card base okay I've left a small border around all four sides of my card and then I'm going to stick on my piece that we've worked on down and I've left a bigger border with this piece okay just make sure that I've put it on straight before I press down one of those pearls there okay and to finish off I'm going to use my crafters companion sparkle pen and it's very sparkly and I'm just going to sparkle over my flower and there we go guys that's my card for today as always thank you so much for stopping by and taking the time to watch any questions, please feel free to ask and I'll always get back to you. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.